Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is Friday, Friday, August 30th. And the energies in the day adds up or reduce to number one vibration. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. When it comes to the spirit animal guidance, we are dealing with the octopus and with the octopus energy coming out, I feel like um, some of the themes from yesterday's energy is coming over into today's energy. Um, and it, it goes back to patience with the way how the octopus energy came out. It just brought me to the thought of biting off more than we can chew, um, trying to multitask and deal with so much when we might not have the ability to deal with everything that we are trying to put on our plate today. Um, when it comes to today being the uh, the energies in the day adding up and reducing to number one vibration, the number one brings me to new beginnings and the day being the 30th, the, the zero next to the number three amplifies that number three energy. So there's definitely some form of new beginning when it comes to today's energy. There's some form of fresh, fresh start. And even if there's not a tangible fresh start, there's lots of thoughts and ideas about entertaining some kind of fresh, fresh thought to the point that we could find ourselves so busy in thought with all these great ideas that probably won't see it to the light of day and can turn around like consuming a lot of our time and energy. And especially if like you're someone who is impulsive like me and I'm working on it and I haven't done anything impulsive in a while but I remember twice I thought that oh I really like I thought that I really like beaded bracelets and I'm gonna make some beaded bracelets and I remember ordering a bunch of beads from Amazon and then end up like not even opening them as the box came and sat by the front door for days and days and after a while, I'm like, you know what? I should return these because um, I'm not going to force myself to make some beads. And then I had the inspiration again and I end up returning them again. And I remember years before I was in Cali and I remember buying a bunch of products to make hair products and the boxes sat there instead i didn't return those because i didn't know i could so i end up wasting a bunch of stuff so when it comes to today's energy if you are like you know how i was then well how i'm recovering from then you probably want to sit on your hands as you could find yourself taking quick action for things and it just being a ways Another example of that for me is like a domain because the minute I come up with an idea, I think of the domain and then I go and buy a bunch of, you know, buy the domain or whatever only for two days later, like I'm not even thinking about that no more. But in the moment, it was just so exciting and I could see the vision. And I feel like today is one of those days where it's like you just want to keep a journal and write down all your great ideas. And, you know, if over time they keep coming up, then you might be on to something, but you know, you might be so excited today and then tomorrow or the day after it's like this too shall, you know, it's, it's gone. You're not as excited as you thought you were. And I feel like for some of us, these great ideas or these impulsive actions might be a, a, a solution or the intentions of these impulsive actions 
might be a solution or we're thinking we're creating a solution for something like okay i want to make more money i want to start this business i want to do this that or the next and it just doesn't feel like the time i don't know why but i've been reflecting on uh 2020 all the way until now um 2020 because i feel like with 2020 um i think of like when pluto was in capricorn and there was also something Saturn was doing at the time that was affecting that. And it influenced a lot of what happened where, you know, we a lot of people were out of work for some time and it showed them or encouraged them to finally take a chance on themselves and start to pursue different career paths and things like that. And for a lot of people, I feel like between then and now, you know, a lot of people may have found themselves like in like in between this transitional period where it's like you stepped out of one thing and attempt to step into something else and maybe things aren't showing enough um, or bearing enough fruit or it's like stepping out of one thing into something else, but entertaining the thought of stepping back into something else for more security stability and whatnot and i just feel like like collectively that universally we're in a certain resting season even though it's not fully a resting season because other you know because we're also in transition it's like transition resting what i mean by that is like i think of like saying you are at the airport and you go from sitting at your gate to getting on the plane and you're on the plane but the plane didn't take off yet and it's delayed you're on the plane but it didn't take off yet so it's like there's still time to get off the plane but it's like where are you going to get off the plane and go and do when you've already explored this place where you're leaving from and you come to the realization that you don't want to be there anymore and you're ready for something else but as you sit on the plane and anticipate where it is that you're going and even the delay that's happening that you know the plane being delayed and taking so long to lift off you start to tell yourself stories like what if this is a sign that i'm not supposed to go and i'm supposed to stay and you know fear false evidence appearing to be real you know can convince a person you know what i'm gonna get off the plane and stay because this delay is not for no reason when the delay could be for a lot of different reasons aligned with our greatest good that we just can't see but because we haven't fully closed the door on the past we're entertaining staying when maybe the delay serves as serves as an opportunity for us to completely put something behind us like i think of like say someone leaving a relationship but they're not over their ex so because they're not over their ex it's impossible for them to have a successful relationship moving forward because they're bringing that energy into the new connection so this is where we walked away from something for some of us and we're sitting on the plane waiting for it to take off, but we're entertaining whatever it is that we're walking away from, even though when we were there, we were miserable. And because of that, it's like, while the plane is delayed and they're getting things right, we're thinking if we should get off. I feel like right now, um, when it comes to the energies that we're dealing with, say, between now, September and October is going to be that kind of vibe where it's like, should I go back or should I keep moving forward? And it's like, if we're honest with ourselves, it's like, what am I going back to though? What am I going back to though? Well, maybe I should just keep moving forward, but I don't know what's forward, but I know what's back there. And I know how to deal with what's back there, even though being back there makes me miserable. So I feel like when it comes to today's energy, some of us could find ourselves trying to come up with a new solution, trying to come up with a new plan, trying to come up with a new career idea, a new business idea, come up with a new path. And 
all of this is just a bunch of distractions, a lot of distracting energy. I feel like when it comes to the energies in today and all of this brainstorming and great idea, it will be nice for us to focus our energy on how we can how we could better improve our current situation. And say if you're someone in the in-between phase as you find yourself miserable with what you've been doing for the past, say, eight years, or maybe it wasn't for eight years you were miserable with it, but within the last few years you realize you want to change and you keep talking yourself out of the change. I feel like when it comes to today's energy, with this brainstorming creative energy, I feel like this is great energy for you to spend some time and visualizing what your ideal self looks like and what does a day in your ideal life look like. If money wasn't an issue and you got up every day and did things that you enjoy in order to pass time, what would those things be? And then I also like to keep in mind, like if I could solve a problem or bring awareness to something in the world that I also struggle with, what would that thing be? Because if I'm getting up every day and working on something that I struggle with and I'm only getting better, and if I'm sharing that with the world, then I'm now in a situation where I'm getting paid to improve myself and others are also benefiting from it. When it comes to the tarot, we have the five in the reversal position. I feel like this is so interesting because for me, this matches everything that I was just talking about. We're in the upright position. Five deals with change, sudden and unexpected changes. The pentacle deals with foundation. There's a sudden and unexpected change within the foundation. As you can see, they're moving on. They're making changes in their world. And what they're moving on from, or maybe what if they're arriving to this place and not leaving, who knows? But they're out and they're taking a chance and they're making changes. In the reversal position, this brings me to stagnance, like not taking that change, not wanting to risk the chance, not wanting to take the chance. And we could find ourselves distracting ourselves from that reality today and instead busy with a bunch of randomness because the truth is we're afraid of the unknown, afraid of making changes. The moon is entering into Leo like uh, today, maybe by time, the evening time, the moon will already be in Leo. And the moon is opposing Pluto energy. So there's big opposition energy between what we need as far as our inner world and the inner conversations that's happening with us and major changes that's happening to our social circles or the groups that we associate ourselves with. And it comes down to what's best for me because in order for me to be of service to others, I first need to, I need to first take care of myself. So when it comes to today's energy, you know, some of you might find yourself distracting yourself from your past by focusing on what everybody else needs of you or what would be best for everybody else. But just know that's a distraction because if you're clear about what makes you thrive and if you're empowering yourself, then if you're naturally a giving person, everybody else will benefit if you're empowering and taking care of yourself. So yeah, when it comes to today's energy, lots of thoughts, ideas, new ideas that could serve as major distractions. And it's important that you focus your energy by pulling a journal out and writing out all these ideas and just reflecting on them and don't allow yourself to jump to the conclusion when it comes to these new ideas, because chances are, if you haven't dealt with um, certain shadowy aspects of yourself, these new ideas are just distractions. What I mean by that is I remember for the longest when I wouldn't allow myself to accept the idea of speaking on the internet to, to strangers. Instead, because I wouldn't accept that reality because it was too scary for me. Instead, I entertained a bunch of random ideas that were a waste of time because I was afraid of doing what it is that I really, really wanted to do deep within. 
So if you haven't gotten to the point yet where you've acknowledged the truth of what it is that what you really, really want to do, even if it scares you, you won't even realize that you're wasting time entertaining a bunch of randomness to distract yourself from this thing that terrifies you so much that your mind could perceive it as death. So it's really, really important to study and understand yourself and the reasons why we do the things that we do, um, because then we can stop like chasing our tails in circles and wondering why we're just stagnant and nothing is happening, not realizing that we're pretty much trying to, our mind is trying to protect us and redirecting us and our attention towards things that really don't matter, but we don't even realize it. We just know that we look around and nothing's happening, nothing's changing. You guys, it's such a pleasure sharing these messages with you. Hey guys, I want to share with you seven benefits of getting a numerology natal chart awareness coaching session. The first one is understanding your internal programming. The second one is becoming more clear about your purpose and passion. The third is setting goals for success. The fourth is awareness of strength and areas of improvement. And the fourth one was foundational for me because whenever you're aware of your weaknesses, no one can use them against you. And when you're aware of your strengths, that makes you unstoppable. And that is why I say self-awareness is a superpower. The fifth benefit is removing obstacles. We first have to become aware of a thing in order to remove it in the first place. The sixth benefit is understanding relationship dynamics. We don't have to change the people in our lives. We have to become aware of ourselves and start from there and everything changes. And the seventh benefit is upcoming transits. If that's something that you would like to look into because you're planning for something or you just want to be aware. So if you're interested in booking a numerology natal chart awareness coaching session or learning more about it, the link to book or the link to send me an email for questions are both within the description box below. If you'd like to check out my Patreon where I share exclusive content, the link to check out what's happening on Patreon is in the description box below. Before you go anywhere, please let me know you're here with me by dropping me a red heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.